So this question says the equation x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 36 represents circle A. So just to make sure we're aware, the circle equation looks like this. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h and k represent the center of the circle, and r, of course, is the radius. So we already can tell just by the given equation that the h value is 0, since there's nothing associated with x there. Our k value is 2, so that means the center of the circle is at 0, 2. And then r squared is 36, which means the radius is actually just equal to 6, right? Because if r is 6, then that's, that's why r squared would be 36. The question goes on to say circle B is obtained by shifting circle A down four units. So that means this center will go from 0, 2 to 0, negative 2, right? If I were graphing this, 0, 2 would be here. I shouldn't put a sign there. <laughs> this would just be 0, 2. So I'm shifting it down two units, 1. I'm shifting it down four units, I'm sorry, which takes me down to negative 2 on the y-axis there. So there's my new center. But the radius shouldn't change at all based upon that. So the question says, which of the following equations represents circle B? Well, now we just know that h is 0 and k is negative 2. That's the only thing that changes. So we would still have x squared, since there's no h value to go along with it. I'd still have a plus sign here. But here, instead of having y minus 2, since k is negative 2, this becomes y minus negative 2 and then squared, and then of course the radius is not changing at all, so this is gonna stay 36. So what I have left is x squared plus y plus two squared equals 36. And let's find that answer. So let's see, it is, um, yeah, perfect, it is choice A. x squared plus y plus two squared equals 36, the exact same thing that we came up with there.